Hi there, uh, Geo Regio Manus. Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See, there's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Instead of fighting it. People, small obstacles. Nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, except for buildings, lampposts, you know, things taller than a limousine. But against everything else, unstoppable. Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. With a limo license, the world was Giorgio's oyster. Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. This spinning thing is even better from the inside. This, this is the future of transportation. Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell. I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. Okay, okay, you just met me, it's a little weird. But kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. Hi, driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. Okay, let's go pick them up. Over there. Yay! Alas, all good things must come to it. Giorgio needed to get these pint sized pals to school. Let's take the bike truck to
I'm heading to the school's baseball field. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. Yeah, I know. The school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay, kids, listen up. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town, we play baseball. You see this chauffeur here? Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Bring it home! Home run! Alright kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me ten laps. Come on, move, move, move! <whistles> Giorgio, the school is demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. You seem like someone who knows what soccer is. Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh gosh. Oh no. What if she's allergic to flowers? Damn it, Steve, you ruined everything. Hi. Uh Let's let's go, driver. So, uh you like movies? Yeah, movies are okay. Do you like movies? Yeah. I love movies. What about you? Uh uh Thanks. So, do I pay you now, or later, or do I- Oh! Thanks, Giorgio. Wait, you got a limo to drive us to the driving theater? Damn it, Steve!
Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. Little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you, you're Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, uh, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio! Thank you so much. Hey, so I'm only in town for a little bit, but I could sure use a groovy driver like you to show me around. And hey, having someone in uniform take me for a spin around town would be a pretty groovy bonus, right? Bless you, my child. We appear to have something of a problem. I am meant to be joining two people in holy matrimony, but we appear to be missing the groom. We must fetch him, post haste. Oh, I knew this would be a bad one. This gentleman seemed disreputable from the start. Such a shame. The bride is such a peach. She could definitely do a lot better. I think I see him. Poor past him and all dragon. Uh, we got him. Head back to the church. Thank you, my son. This hungover wreck will marry the lovely Julia, and it's all thanks to us. No, no, I can't do this. New plan, Giorgio. I drop this wreck off in front of the church, and you drop me off at the bus stop up north. Sound reasonable? Oh, don't give me that judgmental stare. Would you marry these two if you were in my shoes? Well, I had a good run, I reckon. Well, what's done is done. Lord, forgive me for abandoning my flock. Good luck to you, Giorgio. Well, I suppose it's time to move again. I hear the mountains are lovely this time of year. Bonjour, Giorgio. No, no, I will not be riding with you today. I am, how you say, watching from afar. I have heard stories about a new driver with a certain je ne sais quoi. Care to show me your magics? Where did you come up with such a novel idea? Aha! But how do you 
information I needed, my foolish friend. A revolving chauffeur. Of course, it is brilliant. I'll be a celebrity. My gift to you, Giorgio, is that when I take over the world as the best revolving limousine driver, I will crush your precious limousine last. So long. Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. <laughs> right on! Do you do this all the time? Spinning is fantastic! <laughs> Far out! Did you come up with this? You could call it Giorgio's turnover now. How about evolving Giorgio's spinning limousine? I'll get back to you on that. Right here, right here! Oh my gosh, you are just the bee's knees. Thank you so much. Hey, where are you going?
Hello there, my chatty chauffeur. I have a task that needs attending to in my suburban getaway. I do it myself, but I'm stuck in the city attending these blasted meetings. If you could pop by and take care of a few things, everyone here in Maximilian Enterprises would be most grateful. by my fence. This place has got everything. 
back and relax. Of this place. Ducks, trees. <sighs> I feel like I can really be myself here. Thanks so much, Giorgio. You're... you're real special. Call me soon, okay? Oh my goodness, you've come at just the right time. Shh. Look, it's an incredibly rare straight lurping hover eagle. Nobody's seen it in 50 years. Quick, we need to tag it before something bad happens. Follow that eagle! God, look at that majesty. What a noble creature. Committee. We've got to stop them. I'm so sorry. It's the only way to protect our environment. Okay, I think that does it. Wow, look at that beautiful bird. Wow. Thank you, Giorgio. The Parks Department and Nature thanks you. Driver, please to take me to the soccer, Chris. Yes, yes, you've got it. Let us going, Georgie. Hey, hey, this is still not right. Are you playing a joke at me, Georgie? Soccer, Chris. Oh, ball. Thanks to you, Georgie! Hey! I'm glad you could pick me up. Could you give me a ride to the bus depot? Giorgio, I know, it's hard for me to go home too, but we can have this one last ride together, at least for now. Let's go, Giorgio. Oh. There, 
remember that time we were at the park and that duck? <laughs> Good times, Giorgio. You should come visit for a weekend. I hear they even have a new revolving guy just like you. Well, he's French-Canadian, but hey, you can't have everything, right? Hey, I'm walking here. Oh. Yeah, just here at the depot. come with me and move to the city. I mean, I'm sure you'd do swell in the big city and I'd, well, it's kind of selfish, but I'd really just like to have you all to myself all the time. If you ever change your mind, give me a call. I'll be waiting, at least for a while. Kid, you're a sight for sore eyes. Does this mean what I think it means? Fantastic! Well, kid, I think it's time we moved on to some bigger fish. Let me show you the way into the city. You're gonna love the city, kid. Fast streets, fat businessman wallets, and I'm telling you, it's easy street. Oh yeah, the highway construction. Kid, it's time to break some rules. Ready to take your driving to another level? Nice work. Now, this last step is all up to you. Just drive through that tunnel to Roundabout City. Once you get through, come meet up with me. We'll take on this town together. 